Thank you for watching Parallels Remote Application Server installation videos. This video will be talking about best practices for all of your implementations, specifically to the terminal servers. When we do the optimizations on the server side, we have to look into UAC, paging settings, and of course, how remote FX and remote desktop services roles are working. We have created a document that is available in our website and in our support team that you can go through all of those settings in your environment. Today, I'll be showing you the best practices on Windows Server 2016 because it has additional features that were introduced last year. If you don't see those settings, don't worry. It's because it's not available in the current version of the operating system you have. So let's take a look in the virtual machine we created in the previous video. The first thing we need to do, it is checking the paging files and the performance for the server. We go to Server Manager, Local Server, on Remote Desktop where it says Enable, let's click, and on the Advanced tab, we'll change a couple of settings. So let's take a look into Performance, and the first thing we'll do it's changed to adjust for best performance. Click Apply. And on the advanced, we will change the virtual memory paging size. So this virtual machine, if it says, you know, 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, or 16 gig, we always recommend you to do at 2 times the amount of memory. We also recommend you to do this after business hours Defragment the disk first if you're not using SSD, and then you set the paging file. So we will uncheck this option. We'll change to custom size. And if this machine is like 4 gig, we'll put 8 gig. We click set, OK and OK one more time, and then it is also recommended you to restart the server once you have this maintenance complete. The second major area of adjustments, it's editing the group policies. Like we did before, we go to gpedit.msc, and once it open, we can go, let's you know, maximize it here, we can go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Remote Desktop Services. Now, this video does not cover changing remote desktop licensing server. We'll be covering that in an in additional video later. We'll be focused into local settings that you have here. If you have a domain controller and you have different group policies already there, I recommend you do, there, you do it there and then replicate to the servers. So let's focus into this server at this point. On the remote desktop connection client, double click on remote effects, allow, and we'll change this particular setting from not configured to enable, where users and administrators can use it. Let's click on apply. On the client side, no other additional settings needs to be configured. So let's go now to Remote Desktop Session Host. Let's go to Devices and Resource Redirection. We will allow Audio and Video Playback Redirection. Apply, Next. Recording Redirection, if it's you know, for specific use cases that you might have. Limit audio playback from dynamic to medium. Apply. We can skip those. And we go all the way to allow time zone redirection. And we click on enable. Apply and OK. The next one we need to correct. is remote session environment. 
Let's correct first remote FX for Windows Server 2008. And we will enable remote FX. Optimize visual experience. Medium is OK. Apply. And optimize visual experience for services is also enabled. And here it's a question that you need to ask your end users. If you're not using videos or it's just text, you can use text. But if you're going to do audio and video streaming, it's recommended to enable rich multimedia. Apply and OK. Going back to remote session environment, we will be enabling a few features for remote effects. Use advanced graphic for remote app enabled. So let's move the screen over here. Prioritize H.264. This is for video streaming. If we need to have different hardware encodings, here you can choose. So attempt um, for always attempt option. Configure compression for remote effects. And here we'll be using for less network bandwidth. So remote users will have best performance. We click Apply, Next Settings. Configure image quality as well to medium. OK, this is already enabled. It's good. Adaptive graphics also enabled. And we'll be also be careful on the bandwidth utilization, minimal bandwidth usage. We click OK. And this settings for remote session environment is completed. On the security side, we already changed required use of specific security, and we enabled RDP. This is very important for uh, HTML5 gateway scenarios. If you have conditions that you need to control session limits that goes beyond of what a remote application server console does, you can set specific limits on this connection sessions and automatically disconnect and log off users. So. For production environments, we don't recommend to have this on unless you really want to enforce and control log-offs after 24 hours or a specific period of time. And to make sure we have those policies enforced, we need to go to Start. We're going to CMD to the command prompt, run as administrator, and we will do GP update slash force. And those policies will be effectively activated at this point. It might take a couple of seconds to be completed. And the final step to complete this video is disable UAC. So we click on Start. We go to Control Panel. We type UAC. and we'll change the notification only option. Click OK, yes, and to make sure everything is confirmed, we just need to restart the server. And that completes our video today.